Transmembrane drug efflux pumps can remove chemotherapeutic drugs from inside a cancer cell, thereby reducing intracellular drug concentration, which generates resistance to the cytotoxic effects of the drug. Certain drug efflux pumps can extrude multiple types of drug molecules, creating the state of multidrug resistance, or MDR. P-glycoprotein, PGP, is the most prevalent MDR transporter, and it is expressed at elevated levels in many kinds of cancer cells, especially those that have survived a chemotherapeutic treatment. This space-filling model of P-glycoprotein shows a drug molecule, colored in pink, bound to the pump's drug-binding pocket, colored in silver. Such a drug molecule will have entered the pump and its drug-binding pocket from the cytosol through the open portal seen at the bottom. Energy is required to pump drugs out of the cell. P-glycoprotein is an ATP-dependent transmembrane protein, and ATP must bind to the interior nucleotide binding domains in order to pump a drug or other toxins out of the cell. Switching to a ribbon representation of the pump, we can observe the dramatic conformational change in the pump caused by ATP binding. Drugs or other toxins enter the pump and attach to the drug binding pocket, which results in an ATP-dependent shift in the conformation of the entire pump. The drug is then extruded into the extracellular space. Rotating the structure 90 degrees in the same plane, we can observe the pumping action and the opening and closing of the cytosolic and extracellular ends of the pump. In a third view, we observe the pump through its channel, looking down from the extracellular side.